Welcome to another episode of React to Podcast, where we delve into the intriguing facets of everyday life. I'm your host, Mr. Meta, and today, we're taking a drive into the hidden truths lurking inside our garages. Your garage might just seem like a parking spot, but it holds more than mere vehicles. It's a reflection of our intentions, our values, and sometimes, our egos. Let's break it down! The first vehicle is your trusty companion, the one that gets you from point A to point B, the vehicle of necessity. It's for those daily errands, the grocery runs, the mundane yet essential chores. It's practical, functional, and serves a clear purpose. But does it say something deeper about us? Maybe about our reliability, our grounded nature? Then comes the vehicle of service. Ah, this one's special. It's not just about our needs, it's about serving others. Think ambulances, food supply vans for those in need, vehicles dedicated to community service. This type of vehicle goes beyond personal gain, it's driven by the intention to benefit others. And here's the kicker, it holds a reward beyond the tangible, an unseen blessing for those who serve selflessly. Finally, there's the tricky one, the vehicle of ego. The flashy, extravagant ride that turns heads for all the wrong reasons. It's the look-at-me kind, often boasting more about status than substance. But here's the catch. In the grand scheme, it might seem alluring, but it's more harmful than beneficial. It adds little value, and in the long run, it might even cost more than what it's worth. So, as we peek into our garages, let's ponder, what do our vehicles say about us? Are they just machines, or do they reflect our intentions, our character? I'll leave you with that food for thought. Now, the vehicle of necessity, often overlooked, is a silent witness to our daily routines. Its reliability speaks volumes about our practicality. However, beyond its utilitarian role, it hints at our ability to adapt. Do we embrace simplicity or get entangled in unnecessary extravagance? It's a question worth pondering as we navigate our daily commutes in these indispensable vehicles. Consider the vehicle of service, a humble yet powerful embodiment of kindness. Its presence on our road signifies a commitment to the well-being of others. These vehicles echo a profound message, one of selflessness and empathy. They serve as a reminder that our actions, even in the form of a vehicle, can be a catalyst for positive change in our communities. Conversely, the vehicle of ego, often shrouded in grandiosity, can lead us astray. Its allure may tempt us into a world where appearances overshadow substance. But behind the facade of glamour lies a void, a lack of genuine connection or contribution. It's a cautionary tale urging us to evaluate the authenticity of our intentions and the impact of our choices. As we examine these vehicles in our garages, let's not merely see metal and machinery. Let's see reflections of our values, our priorities, and our aspirations. Every vehicle tells a story, a story of who we are and what we hold dear. So, the next time you step into your garage, ask yourself, what narrative does my choice of vehicle narrate about me? Remember, our time in this world is fleeting, a temporary journey towards a greater destination, returning to our Lord, accountable for every blessing bestowed upon us. As we contemplate our choices, especially in acquiring possessions like vehicles, let's consider their impact not just in the present, but in the eternal spectrum. The vehicles of necessity and service align with a balanced existence, serving our needs while potentially earning rewards in the hereafter. However, the pursuit of ostentatious, ego-driven vehicles offers no such solace, potentially jeopardizing our spiritual standing beyond this transient life. Let's weigh our acquisitions with this profound truth in mind, ensuring that our pursuits reflect not just momentary desires, but an awareness of our ultimate return to our Creator. Let's clarify, there's a distinction between presentation and ostentation when it comes to our vehicles. The vehicles serving practical needs and those dedicated to service can be beautifully presented, sleek, and elegant while fulfilling their intended purpose. It's not about shunning aesthetics, but rather drawing a line between enhancing functionality and showcasing wealth or status. The issue arises when vehicles are acquired solely as symbols of social stature, extravagant displays of affluence, or as tools for pompous showmanship. 
There's no harm in maintaining a purposeful vehicle with care and elegance. The concern lies in the intentions behind the purchase, whether it's driven by a genuine need or a desire to flaunt material wealth. Let's strive for vehicles that reflect our values and serve a meaningful purpose, adorned with elegance without succumbing to the allure of vanity or status symbols. The second type of vehicle, one dedicated to service and benefiting others, holds immeasurable rewards beyond the material realm. It fosters a sense of fulfillment, positively impacting us mentally and emotionally, enriching our lives with purpose and altruism. Such vehicles contribute to the betterment of our families and society, nurturing a sense of communal harmony and compassion. On the contrary, the pursuit of the third type, driven by ego and the need for ostentation, often leads to detrimental outcomes. Financially, it can become a bottomless pit, draining resources in a quest for status. Personally and mentally, it can sow seeds of discontent, hollowing our sense of self-worth while impacting family dynamics negatively. It disrupts societal connections, fostering superficiality over genuine bonds, and in the professional sphere, it can lead to instability, debts, and a skewed focus on appearances rather than substantive growth. In the acknowledgement that there is no might nor power except with God, we find the essence of surrender and humility. It's a reminder that every facet of our lives, including our choices in vehicles or any worldly matter, should be guided by seeking divine guidance. Turning to God in prayer for his guidance signifies our trust in his wisdom, seeking his direction in every step of our journey. Let's invoke his guidance, recognizing that in his hands lies the ultimate power and that seeking his guidance is the ultimate compass for navigating the paths of our lives. Until next time, remember, it's not just about what we drive, but why we drive it. Drive safe, both on the roads and in life. This is Mr. Meta signing off, urging you to explore the deeper truths within your garage. Until next time, keep steering your life with purpose. Drive safe, and remember, the road ahead is shaped not just by the vehicle we drive, but by the intentions that steer us. Take care! Goodbye! Please like, share, and comment on video. Do not forget to subscribe channel and hit the bell icon for updates.